1912, sold our public press, March 2nd, 2015, reopened, help also needed. The Minnesota Railway has been reopened after being closed down and abandoned since 1947. That's long. New engines have been brought onto the railway, but there is one that had remained there after it closed. The little green engine, but was turned into a generator. But it hoped to be rebuilt into a full engine again. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Since since he was the only engine that was left there, we are now re renaming the railway after him to Smudger's Railway. We need a security guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Watch the cameras for thieves. Watch for cameras for thieves. Are you the right person for this job? Five hundred dollars a week. If interested, call one eight 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 Smudger's Railway. Some sort of railway back in the day. Yeah, I remember that from an episode of. Thomas and friends. Alright, next. Alright, night. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So sorry if it's slow again. I have a bad monitor. I'm trying to get a new monitor, like a camera. Or Um, hello there. Welcome to your brand new job at the new reopen Minnesota Railway, which has now been renamed to Smudges Railway. Your job is to watch the cameras for any criminal activity. You will not shift for last from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. We have put a lot more cameras on, we some underground mines, and we built a new building for the new office. The previous office was only in a trailer home and had very limited power that went down very quickly. We had a previous night guard who worked in there and kept running out of power, and until after his second night we haven't seen him since. He most likely just quit after being annoyed about the power, but since then, we have had a lot more time to work on the power system, and now, we have a better working power supply. So allow me to explain how it works. First, we have set up two doors and hall lights in your office. The lights have unlimited supply, however, the doors only have a limited supply. Only closing these doors will cause their power to drain, whereas the old supply went down automatically. The doors are there to protect you from anyone trying to get inside to rob the place or attack you, even though that is very unlikely. Anyway, the next thing is, if you look at camera number 10, you will see there is a piston system we have set up. The piston is used for the mine cameras right next to your office, which is cameras number 12, 13, and 14. On those cameras, you will see there is a close and open option. This is used because we found out there is a way under you for anyone to get in your office. So if you see anyone in there, Simply close the mine off and it will stop them from getting in. But make sure you power the piston as well while doing so. As shutting off one of the mines uses the piston's power, the more mines that are shut off, the faster the piston will go down. And if the piston loses all of its power, you won't be able to shut the mines off for the rest of the night, which might give you vulnerable to anyone trying to get to you from there. But again, that's very unlikely, of course. But anyway, if someone does try to get in that certain area of the mine, there is a lot of wood and rubble about, so if anyone does try to get in that area, you'll probably hear, like, wood falling over or rocks crumbling or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you see anything, report it to me after your shift, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, mate.
guys so that's going to be all for this episode of five nights at smudgers if you um want to see more just leave comments down below telling what telling me what you want to see next and bye